I've been asking everybody I know that's been married 25 years or more. How do you find, how do you know? They've all told me the exact same thing. It doesn't matter race, creed, color, religion. Throw that out the door. What matters in finding the right person is to find the person who's going to jungle fuck you until the day you die. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, too. Not doing the nasty, not porking, not making love. Jungle fucking. <laughs> that kind of thing where even after 25 years of marriage, when you get up in the morning and your knee accidentally touches his knee, under the breakfast table, even after 25 years of marriage, you still look at each other and go... <gasps> Women in relationships like this will walk around all damn day long going, that's my monkey man. <laughs> that's my jackhammer of lust. That's my stallion of passion. I'm going to climb him like a pole and ride him like a mad dog through hell. <laughs> and men in relationships like this, every time you think about your woman, you got to go down on one knee to look at something that's not there because you got a woody on you just thinking about that girl. <laughs> Hey, Phil, how's Wanda? Good Lord, look at the carpet in the office. <laughs> yep, that's a fine old carpet. Yeah, that's a good carpet. Like that carpet. Good. <laughs> and when you go home from work, ladies, you go home a little bit early and you take all the white light bulbs out of the house and put red ones in because everybody in here knows, no matter how old and flappity ass you get, everybody is a sex goddess under red lights. You put on your best lingerie and it doesn't matter if you look like a marshmallow with rubber bands around it. You're his woman. He loves you. You make his favorite dinner. You put it on the table with the best dishes and he comes home. He's got a nice bottle of champagne for you. A nice little trinket of love, piece of jewelry, something real nice. You look at him and say to hell with those gifts. He looks at you and says to hell with this dinner because the time for jungle fucking has commenced. <laughs> he grabs you by the hair and slams you down on that table and those dishes go flying in a thousand different pieces in a thousand different places and you don't care if they were your great-grandmother's dishes she's been dead for 40 years fuck her it's your turn now <laughs> he takes you by the hair and he drags you across that kitchen linoleum and smoke is rising from the passion in your loins as you go. And he takes you into the living room across that carpeting and as you go, the straddle spinning, the TV's flashing, the VCR's blowing up, the shades are going up and down, up and down, up and down. And you get naked from the sheer friction across that carpeting and by the time he gets you naked to the bedroom, he's got his pants and his underpants down around his ankles and you think he looks good that way. <laughs> he throws you on the bed and you start humping and fucking and slurping and sliding and chewing and gnawing and death charming and screaming and scratching and carrying on and you got a piece of flesh in your mouth and you don't know whose it is or what it is and you don't give a good goddamn about now because the sheets are in the air and the mattress is out the window and the box springs is in the closet and the next thing you know your ass is jammed between that bed frame and that wall and your legs are splayed straight up into heaven as if to say thank you god for this man oh thank you god He's looking at you saying, take it like the bitch you are. You're looking at him saying, drive me home with that Cadillac daddy man. And you reach that beautiful moment where your souls are tossed across the black void into the sparkling universe to dance among the stars. Upwardly, downwardly, inwardly, outwardly, around and around. Again and again and again. And then he looks at you at that moment. The way only a man in love looks at his woman at that moment. And you're looking at him going, blah, blah, blah. and he thinks you're the most divine creature God ever made. Now that's all I'm asking for. Is that too much? <laughs> Thank you so very much. God bless you. I sure appreciate it.